may discover that this person that I believe I am is not really real either. Neither as this world that I think it's really real. Neither of them exist. They exist in relative reality, but they don't exist in absolute reality. And their existence also are not separated from the observer of what is observing. Of whatever I'm observing, whatever I'm experiencing is really not outside of myself. It's not happening outside of me. This is happening all within in my own consciousness. But since I never examined myself, so I never had a reason to, to question any of it. But now that I'm going after me, I'm really going to question my own existence. I'm going to question the idea of myself. Then things starts to pop. Things become interesting. And one of the ways is that almost immediately you get a glimpse of it. Of course, this is not something I discovered on my own. Um, this came to me through the grace of my teacher that my teacher directed me in this direction and pointed this out to me that I recognized that. Otherwise, I had no idea. I was lost in the world and I really believed in the world that I'm seeing as if it's real because I wasn't ex examining the source of it till I went and examined the source of it to see how real is the source of it. But one way you can just very quickly get a glimpse of it is very simple, is what I try always to do and teach you and share with you at the academy. Turn your mind, turn your attention inwards and go inside and look for the source of your thoughts. Where do your thoughts come from? And as you go in there and you look for the source of your thoughts, your mind becomes absolutely quiet. You go beyond thoughts. And then you sink back inside yourself. You sink back inside the I am, the presence. And then all of a sudden, everything is flat. Everything is absolutely becomes still because there's no movements. It becomes still and it becomes quiet like a point, everything becomes absolutely silent. And then there is no world. There is nothing to be afraid of. There is no coronavirus. There is no enemy. There is nothing to come and get you because none of them exist outside of this place that you sink back in, in, outside of the truth of who you are, which is the I am, the presence, that which doesn't change, it's always here. From there, a projection has happened and the world begins to appear and you also are a part of that. <coughs> and everything becomes very real as your experience. And frightening too. Or dramatic. But when you go back and you challenge, you challenge the subject. You challenge your, your this you. Who am I? Who is this me? Who is this person? You're really challenging it. 
by asking this question, who am I? Who is this person who's experiencing this horror, horror movie or this beautiful movie, this life? Who's experiencing it? And you go deep inside and you're challenging the experiencer and you go beyond the experiencer then there is no one experiencing anything it becomes all silent it becomes all quiet and you get a glimpse of what is real and you see the reality everything else is merely images it's just a film it's a movie that is happening And it's not real because it can't do anything to the truth of who you are. It has no power, no effect on the I am because I am is always here. I am is always present and I am never changes. And the true identity of who you are is the I am, not who you think you are. But this is something you have to discover it for yourself. And the only way to do it is by really questioning, questioning the truth of who you are. And in that, as you get closer, you can see that an evolvement begins to happen and a lot of your fears and worries begin to disappear and your mind starts to become more quiet and you get more centered. You're finding your own center, the center of the self, and you begin to identify to that. Then what is on the outside because you're questioning the subject and the objects what are on the outside and the dance they play and the things they do, you start to see through them and they don't worry you, they don't affect you. And you also start to see that there are imagery projecting from the collective mind is projecting these things, but they have no substance. There's nothing inside of it. They're hollow. That's what they are. And in comparison, in front of that which is real, that person who has come to that understanding that they have discovered the truth the, the real, the absolute real, these hollow images have no power over them. They do their dance, they do their thing, but they, have, they can't touch it. Yet, in the meantime, we all have a script. It's like we've been handed this script of our lives, our destiny, and these characters in these movies, they have to live their life and they have to play according to the script. It means I can't change my life to something else that is not. I have to play this out, even though you have to play yours out, even though awakening will, may happen, that you fully become realized that this whole thing is not real because you have discovered what is real. 